Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. This is my daily stock signals video for Tuesday the 10th of July, where I go through just one of the um, hundreds of signals that we give out every day to our members. In the members area, our members get the option to go both long and short for those fifth wave trades, those highest probability moves in a trend. On the fifth wave trades, we give potential longs and shorts on Wave 5 for the weekly, the daily, and the 60 minute time frame. The stochastic longs and shorts are given on the daily, 60 minute, 30 minute time frame, oh, and the 15 minutes as well. Um, so let's have a quick look at what our members get. Each day, we're in an accordion style thing here. Obviously, you can see all the, the backlog. This is today's. Our members simply click on the image and download the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet for today, for the potential longs look something like this. So these are all the potential longs on the daily time frame. Uh, you see at the bottom of the spreadsheet here, they've got the options to click on weekly and 60 minutes. I want to concentrate on the daily for now. I've chosen ADP, Automatic Data Processing Inc, on the daily for a potential long. So that's going to have a look at the chart and see how we set it up from the signal. So first of all, <clears throat> this is the uh, NinjaTrader NT8 platform, and this is our Wave 5 Trade Alia Wave Indicator Suite for the for the NinjaTrader, but it's also available for TradeStation, Thinkorswim, and the MultiCharts. For those users that have got uh, our Indicator Suite, to isolate this quite a little bit difficult. We've got a bit of a roller coaster ride, range bound period here on this stock and then we get that final move up on that the main trend and we've pulled back against it. So to isolate we're going to go back here to the 9th of February. So this is a slightly lower low than this here, this range bound pivot. So we've isolated here and then our indicator suite has um, labelled the ABC correction and then the Elliott wave 1, 2, 3, 4 and that's where we are right now so let's zoom in a little bit and have a look at this. So the important bit really is the wave 4. If this behaves well, there's a good chance, uh, good probability we are going to go on and make that new wave 5 high. So let's just talk about three main filters and, indicate, and indicators that we use for the membership and for the indicator suite. So the first of all is the wave 4 pullback. The wave 4 has found support so far in the amber zone here. <clears throat> the amber zone is an 80% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave 5 high into our automated target zone up here in blue around about $144. So as long as that holds and we start to move away the long looks good. Uh, the next filter is the 535. Now this this measures how well this uh, wave 4 um, behaves uh, and it looks at the price action um, on the previous wave 3 and compares it against the, the wave 4. And we have that uh, pullback between 90 and 140%, which is really good as we can see right here. Thirdly, we have our stochastic. Now, the yellow dots on the top of the stochastic in the overbought zone denote a very strong bullish trend. The stochastic has pulled back against there and crossed over in the oversold zone. Now, the likelihood is it wants to return to those yellow dots, to that main bullish trend. So that crossover in the oversold zone against those yellow dots, against that strong bullish trend, gives us that picture, those stars are aligning, that that wave force found good support in one of our probability zones. The 535 has pulled back between 90 and 140%. And then finally the stochastic has built that picture uh, that we've got a strong bullish trend and we've pulled back against it. So. It's that pullback that's good, and then we've just got to look for the entry, really. Um, we use, on the indicator suite, we use our 6-4 moving average high, the green moving average here. You see that's in advance, and we are looking at making sure that we're outside of that 6-4 moving average high for today's bar position, at least. And then I want to always look left. I want to make sure I'm above all of this recent price action, these rejections of these highs, but also when I look left on here, on this chart, on the wave three, we can see this high here. Now this is important. We wanna make sure that we are above this rejection level because we've rejected the highs there and pulled back. So we've gone for an entry 
stop loss is below the wave four, about 132.50, and then the target's 144. So as you can see, we've got a great risk reward of one to two into this target zone here for ADP. So great looking trade, great risk to reward, very simple from our um, members service for our signals and very, very simple to set it up. So that's it for today. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all tomorrow.